Greetings, Eric Backer again, naturopath from New Zealand. We're going to continue on this series on diintermoeba fragilis. So this is a, a parasite that, that I see quite regularly in stool tests. So let's have a look now at some of the signs and symptoms of a diintermoeba infection. So generally what we look at is acute or chronic. So acute is something that you've had for one to two weeks. Chronic will generally be for, you know, a couple of months. Anything over usually four weeks, uh, eight weeks is considered to be a chronic problem. The most common acute symptom of diintermoeba uh, would be diarrhea. Anywhere between one up to seven or eight stools per day. It's not uncommon. Some people can also initially get abdominal pain, although we tend to get that, you know, more so with the chronic ones. Mucus uh, can sometimes occur in the stools. I've got a list here of some symptoms we're going to go through. So diarrhea, as I mentioned, uh, predominates usually in the acute infection. Now the diarrhea can really vary from mild or just, you know, an urgent motion right up to uh, where, you know, you've got a serious problem and it can be quite a major liquid sort of diarrhea, quite a bad one. Stools can be green. I've heard some people talk about greenish colored stools. Um, and they can also, the consistency can, the consistency can vary from sort of loose up to, you know, almost like water. Um, in chronic infection, I would tend to see more pain with people or expect to see more pain. People will often tell me they'll have pain around this region here, around the belly button, uh, but it can be anywhere around this band here. And GI complaints, these are the following normal gastrointestinal complaints that I would see with diintermoeba. Alternating constipation or diarrhea. So some people complain about diarrhea, some people complain uh, about you know, constipation, uh, flatulence. Many people get gas with diintermoeba, but also with blasto. So some people can even have reputation for uh, for gas. It can be quite embarrassing for some people. Bloating, very common. So bloating and gas are, are in my opinion, some of the most common symptoms. Some people can feel queasy, uh, feel sick, and even have dry reaching or, or vomiting or a lot of nausea with it. Uh, weight loss uh, can occur, particularly with chronic, when you've had this problem for a long, long time. It's easy to have a variable appetite and not feel like eating a lot of food and lose a lot of weight. What about some of the non-intestinal complaints? Can you have signs and symptoms that are not gut related? Yes, you can. Some patients I see get bad headaches. Others will get dizziness. Some people get itchy skin. Some people get skin rashes. These are not uncommon kind of symptoms. Irritability, weakness, fatigue, malaise. Some people get fever. Uh, in the initial couple of weeks, they might get a bit of a spike in temperature, which will then settle down. A general feeling of unwellness, not really feel like going out or doing too much. Very common um, with parasites like dying to me. So catch up with me in the next video, and we're going to talk about the causes of dying to me. Thanks for tuning in.